Hello guys, welcome to another video. In this video, we are going to talk about overhead recovery rate. Should we use departmental overhead recovery rate or should we use plant-wide rate? Plant-wide rates are also called blanket absorption rate. Guys, actually absorption costing, how you will calculate the product cost under absorption costing we have covered in, in, uh, in the previous video. Actually, this is the second video on the absorption costing. In this video, I'm just going to talk about overhead recovery rate. Should we use departmental or plant-wide? Guys, as we know, if you want to calculate the product cost under absorption costing, what will be included in the product cost? Product cost will include cost of direct material. It will include cost of direct labor. It will include the cost of overheads. Okay, guys, so mostly, Direct material and direct labor is also called your prime cost. I'm assuming if there are no direct expenses and overheads, overhead includes what cost of indirect material, cost of indirect labor and factory operating cost. And, we, uh, and overheads, you might have overheads of two categories. You might have variable overheads or fixed overhead. Mostly when you want to record overhead cost into the product cost, what we need to do first, we will calculate the overhead recovery rate at the start of the period and how we will calculate the overhead recovery rate guys. Uh, and why we need to calculate at the start of the period because to avoid seasonal fluctuations. And if you want to calculate overhead recovery rate, which is also called overhead absorption rate, it is also called overhead applied rate. So what is the formula guys? We need estimated total overhead cost. This is estimated cost divided by estimated activity level. Why we are using estimated? Because to avoid the seasonal fluctuation. So that is why we will calculate the overhead recovery rate at the start of the period, okay guys? And, and under the estimated activity level, there could be any activity level. Maybe we can absorb overhead cost based on labor hours if our work is labor intensive. We can also use machine hours if our work is machine intensive, or we can use any other basis which are uh, which is fair to use okay guys so by the way we have already covered how to calculate the product cost under absorption costing in the previous video i will provide you the link of that video in the description of this video because this is going to be a second video on the absorption costing and here i'm just going to talk about overhead recovery rate so should we use departmental overhead recovery rate or plant-wide recovery rate guys First of all, blanket overhead rates. Blanket means a plant-wide. Plant-wide means we are going to calculate only single overhead recovery rate. So single overhead recovery rate, which is also called blanket overhead recovery rates, are not appropriate in the following circumstances. Which circumstances? For example, when there is more than one department. Like when you manufacture the product, when you manufacture the product, your product will pass through different department. Okay, guys? And second is what if here jobs do not spend an equal amount of the time in each department, like when job, like for example, when you are producing any product, like for example, product A, so it will not spend the same time in each department. And there is also a third reason, guys. So when, uh, when we should use plant-wide rate, I'm explaining here, guys, okay, or when we should use departmental rate, guys. So departmental rate, we can also use in that situation where some production departments may be labor intensive while other are machine intensive. In these cases, the use of single driver, the use of single driver means say labor hours or machine hours or maybe other basis. So use of the single driver for applying overhead to every phase of the production results in the miscosting of the product, less effective control and less efficient operation. How it will work? Let's have a look with the help of example. But here guys, you should remember here, if your product will pass through different departments, okay? And if your product or if your product need different time in different department, in that scenario, so you should remember this point, if a separate absorption rate, I mean to say departmental rate, so is used for each department, charging overhead will be fair, uh, fair and the full cost of production of item will be represent the amount of the effort and the resources put into making them. Okay, guys, so here we go. Let's have a look with the help of example. So guys, here we have a small example to work with that. So we will talk about if what will be the cost of the product if we will use plant-wide, I mean, it's a single recovery rate, or what will be the cost of the product if we will use department, departmental rate. Here we go, guys. Here we have the old grammar school has two production department. 
for which the following budgeted information is available okay guys so we have a department a department b and here we have a total information budgeted overheads we have a budgeted overheads under department a is three hundred and sixty thousand dollar and we have a budgeted direct labor hours are two hundred thousand hours okay under department b we have a budgeted overhead of two hundred thousand dollar and we have a budgeted direct labor hours are forty thousand hours so total if you will make the total Department A and Department B overhead cost total is how much, guys? Five hundred and sixty thousand dollar. If you will make the total of labor hours of both department, the total is two hundred and forty thousand hours. Okay, guys. So first, let's calculate single recovery rate, plant wide recovery rate, blanket absorption rate. So, guys, how you will calculate here, here, guys? So here, if you want to calculate the single recovery rate, so what you will use? You will take total estimated overhead cost. Divide by total estimated activity level, and here we are assuming that we are charging overhead based on labor hours. Okay, guys. So this is how you will do. So you have an estimated fixed overhead is five hundred and sixty thousand dollar. You have estimated labor hours of two hundred and forty thousand dollar. So if you will divide, you will get what dollar two point three three per direct labor hour. This is what is your overhead recovery rate. So this is what if you will use plant wide. Single recovery rate. So, if you want to calculate separate rates, how you will do, guys? For Department A, you need overhead cost of Department A divided by labor hours of the Department A. So, if you will divide here, so what you will get? You will get recovery rate for the Department A one point eight zero dollar per direct labor hours because we took Department Department A overhead cost divided by Department A. Labor hours, so you got what one point eight dollar per direct labor hours. So same way you will calculate for the department B. So you you need departmental B cost overhead cost divided by departmental B labor hours. So if you will divide here, guys, so the recovery rate for department B is five dollars. So guys, you can check it here. So if you are using single plant wide rate, which is two point three three per direct labor hours, but if you will use uh, departmental wise. So for department A, we have rate of dollar one point eight zero per direct labor hour, and we have a five dollar uh, for department B per direct labor hours. So guys, here let's continue with the example here. So here we have a continuing with the example. So department B has higher overhead recovery rate as we have just noticed. There the rate is five dollar. Okay, and here guys, guys, you have extra information. Now let us. Uh, consider two separate jobs. We have a two separate product. We have a job X. I mean, say product X has a prime cost of hundred dollar. I mean, say cost of material and cost of labor is hundred dollar and takes thirty hours in department B and does not involve any work in department A. So here we have total thirty hours, but we just these thirty hours in department B only. We don't have any time. We don't need to spend any time in department A for the product X. But we have on on the other hand, we have a a job of Y has prime cost of hundred dollar. Prime cost is the same. Takes twenty eight hours in department A and two hours in department B. So if you look at here, total hours are here also thirty. But twenty eight hours in department A, okay, and two hours in the department B. So what would be the factory cost? I mean, say overhead cost. Of each job using the following rates of overhead recovery. First is what we have here: a single factory rate. If you will use plant-wide rate, one rate, and if you will use separate departmental rates of the overhead cost. So let's calculate, guys, the product cost by using single rate or by using departmental rate. So here we have a solution, guys. So first we are assuming here if you will apply single recovery rate, and you remember single recovery rate was two point three dollar per labor hour. Just we have calculated here. You can just check it here. Here we have a single recovery rate, and now you want to calculate for the product A. So how you will calculate the cost, guys? This is job X. This is job Y, and we are using single recovery rate. First you will write prime cost. Prime cost means the cost of material, cost of direct labor, and we are assuming we don't have direct expense. Okay, it's hundred dollar for both. So factory overhead, factory overhead, you know, uh, overhead rate, overhead recovery rate was two point three dollar per labor hours. Okay, for the product X, for the product X, we took thirty hours. You remember thirty hours? Even the product X just utilizing thirty hours in department A, because it has no consumption in department B. But there are thirty hours. So thirty labor hours times recovery rate. So you will get seventy dollar overhead cost for the job Y. If you remember. 28 hours were in department A and 2 hours in department B okay but total hours are 30 hours so for the department for the job Y so again we have a 30 hours time recovery rate which is 
three dollar per labor hour. It's a seventy dollar. So you can see here the cost of overhead is the same. If you want to calculate the cost, product cost. So here we have a one hundred and seventy dollar, and here we have a one hundred and seventy dollar. Okay, and overhead amounts are also same. Okay, guys, if you will use single recovery rate. Now let's see if you will use separate recovery rate. What will happen? So here we go, guys. Now I'm using separate departmental rate, and don't forget for the department A, just we have calculated rate one point eight zero dollar per labor hour, and for the department B, it was for the department B, it was dollar five per direct labor hour. Okay, guys, just let's confirm from the calculation we just did it before. Okay, guys, here we have a rate one point eight for department A, five dollar for department B. Now if you will charge on fair basis, so we'll see how your cost will change. So guys, again, this is product X, this is product Y, okay. And first we have a prime cost. It is same hundred dollar, same hundred dollar for product Y also. Now you are going to charge factory overhead, okay. For the first, I'm calculating only for the product X. This is your product X. This is your product X, okay. So product X, I have spent product X. Just if you will look at here, let's confirm from the question data. Product X. Took 30 hours in Department B and does not involve any work in Department A. It means just we will charge Departmental B rate. Okay, guys. So Departmental A, Department A cost will be zero because Product X didn't did not spend any time in Department A. But in Department B, Product X spent 30 hours and cost for each hour is five dollar for the Department B. Right, guys. So if you will multiply, so you will get what hundred and fifty dollar overhead cost for for Depart for the Product X. A is zero. In a department A cost is zero. In department B cost is one hundred and fifty. But if you will remember the product Y data, product Y spent twenty eight hours in department A, and A recovery rate is one point eight zero dollar per hour. If you will multiply, you will get this cost. Okay, guys. And product Y spent two hours in department B, and for department B recovery rate is five dollar per hour. So it's ten dollars. If you will calculate the cost now, guys. So what is the cost of the product? If you will add these costs here, two hundred fifty dollar, and here we have a hundred and sixty point four. So if you will notice here, your cost is going to change. How it's going to change? Because if you are using single rate, single rate, your cost was one seventy. If you are using departmental rate for the product X, your cost is two hundred and fifty. If you are using single rate for for the product Y, your cost is hundred and seventy. If you are using plant plant wide rate. So I mean to say, departmental rate. So your cost is going to be one hundred and sixty point four dollar. So what is the outcome here? So let's have a look. This is the outcome, guys. When you use, when when we use a single factory overhead absorption rate, both jobs would cost the same. Why it is same? Because you can check it here. So both cost is the same seventy dollar for the overhead seventy dollar for the overhead for the product X for the product Y. What is the reason? Because for the product X X we spent thirty hours even in the department B only no work in department A. But for the product Y we also spent thirty hours twenty eight hours in department A and I guess two hours in department B. Just you can confirm from the question right. 28 hours in department A and 2 hours in department B so total was 30 hours so your fixed cost is unaffected it is the same okay however since job x is done entirely within the department B where overhead cost are relatively higher whereas job y is done mostly within department A where the overhead cost are relatively lower so that is why here that is why here what your total cost is lower for the job y okay guys it is arguable that job x Should cost more than job Y because X is entirely done in B in department B where overhead rate was higher. So this will occur if separate departmental overhead recovery rates are used to reflect the work done on each job in each department separately. Like in short, guys, what is the story if you are using departmental rate to absorb the overhead? So I guess it is better way to allocate the overheads. So your cost will be fair. Otherwise, you might have miscosted your product. Okay. So this is how you will deal with it with the departmental rate and single plant wide rate. I hope guys it is clear. See you in the next video. In the next video, I'm going to talk about under our over absorption of overhead and the income statement for the absorption costing. Thank you so much, guys. Bye bye.